guys, it's Love My Angels 3, Shaya. Um, this video I'm about to make right now is going to be basically about um, how God is, um, well, he's been teaching me. Jesus has been teaching me in my sleep. Um, this was happening when I first got born again. Um, well, woke up really when I woke up um, around... Um, I want to say the end of 2012 or somewhere around there is when I got woke up by him and I felt like he was in my sleep it's like he's teaching me things you know when you can be half asleep so I would I would kind of wake up in my sleep and I would be I would know what he's teaching me when I'm laying there in bed but when I wake up in the morning, it was like, it's all gone, you know? And then I kind of went through, if you see the other video I just did, this whole thing where I've kind of been entertaining some carnal thoughts, which you're not at all supposed to be doing right now. And um, because of that, I believe that's why he hasn't been able to continue that teaching in my sleep and I and I prayed to him I said you know I finally figured it out what it was that I I was doing wrong he woke me up the father woke me up and he just let me know so anyways once I said that I did deal with that now he's begun teaching me in my sleep again and I don't know if any of you guys have gone through it or experienced it but I would love to hear from you guys to see if it's happening to you guys also um, but I cannot remember everything I try really hard when I wake up in the morning to grab a piece of paper or, or something to write in my journal really quickly and write it all down but it's not it's like the unconscious part of your mind. He's turning on that unconscious part and he's speaking to that unconscious part of my mind. And so it's really hard to access a lot of it. And I feel like when this change occurs and I feel like there'll be a time when we just are changed um, for sure. And we're gonna be doing all these works for Christ for sure. I know it's gonna be wonderful. We all have a purpose. We all have a part. If you're a part of the Bride of Christ, you're, we're all going to have a purpose um, in Him and doing some things for Him. And I believe that He's such a merciful God. He's going to give people lots of chances in the tribulation to repent and, and still come to, the, to Him. That's how awesome our God is. He's so awesome. But... Um, he's, I feel like he's downloading stuff and there's stuff there. And I feel like when this change happens, it's just going to be there accessed. We're going to access it immediately. Even this stuff that we don't remember he's teaching us. We're going to remember it suddenly. All of a sudden it will, we all have access to it all. But I don't know why I can't access it all. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. Like I need to have something right by my bed. Um, and wake up in the middle of the night and write it down. I don't know what other brothers and sisters do if they have that or experience that. Um, or if I'm just not supposed to be accessing it right now and he wants to keep some of it as a secret or, is, yeah, like we're not supposed to know. I don't know. But I wanted to share that he's been doing that and teaching me. And if you ask him to teach you in your sleep, he's certainly going to teach you too. But I, I can't promise you'll remember it. Like I said, it's like unconscious and it's very hard to remember this stuff. But I can wake up in my sleep. I'm, a, I'm like one of the lightest sleepers ever. So if you hear any kind of drop or anything's going on, I know. I know what's going on. So I know that he's, I'll be thinking these things that I know are, are spiritual things. 
but I just can't remember when it when I wake up. So maybe I'm just too lazy in my bed and I should be jumping out of the bed and writing it down. But it's like as soon as I almost start to get up in the morning, move around, it's gone. But he did show me something um, last night that I thought was interesting. I want to share it with you guys. I'm a horrible drawer. I think I'm going to try to show you the picture, but it's a really horrible drawing. But um, he's show, he show, showed me this um, image in my mind. And I think it's interesting because I have been very curious. Right now, I don't drive. And I think, man, I wish I could just go around and evangelize with people, you know, plus I have three kids, but he showed me in my dream that there are these doors, and it was almost like doors and then stairs. Like a door and then a stair. And then a door and a stair. I don't know. Um, I made a little picture of it. Let me show you guys. It was, that's a horrible picture, I know. Okay, but you see there's little doors and then stairways and they're kind of connected. I've never seen anything like that. I don't know, but <sighs> what he spoke to me about was basically, I don't know if he told me or if it was like a knowledge he just, I just know when I'm being shown it. But he said we can enter in into these doors and these doors have to be, they're going to be uh, they're already here is what he's telling me but there are certain areas on the earth I don't know how many doors I don't know where I don't know if some people might call them portals or whatever I just call it a door because that's how he showed me it was a door and um, we can enter into these to go certain places And but this is not um and then I wrote, they, they are portals that are here now, but we will not be able to use them until God allows us to. So um, there's probably, you know, new agers or, or some kind of evil forces on this earth that already know about these things and they already want to use them and they're already trying to figure out how to use them. But they can't use them until God allows it. He's in full control, okay? But there will come a time when he's going to allow it. And then we are going to basically have those doors open so we can go wherever on the world, on the earth that he wants us to. Um, isn't that awesome? <laughs> and then, um, but we will, okay, let's see. Yeah, he said, for his divine purposes. That's what he told me. He said, we will not be able to use them until God allows it for his divine purpose. So it has to be his divine purpose wherever we're going. And um, these will help us travel, which is basically what I said, all over the earth to minister to people. Um, I was really excited about that because I was just like, Wow, really? So, um, there will be no limits. What we see now in the how we operate as this um, fleshly person will no longer hold us back. We won't need cars to get around. There's going to be these doors. There will be, God has miraculous spiritual things that are coming to this earth that God has prepared for his bride and those special ones that are waiting for him that are are putting their all towards him he is going to open so many spiritual doors yes for us all and we're going to be able to reach people all over Nothing could hold us back. Nothing. He is going to, we will be the light to the world and he is going to open so many spiritual doors for us. And it's going to be 
I don't even uh, see it as like it's going to be bad for those that refuse to accept God, but but for those that have accepted the Lord, it's going to be a wonderful, the best times that you will ever experience. Okay, he's going to awaken all of our spirits, and that's what he's doing now. And he wants us to be fully spirit, fully light. And then he's going to unlock these doors, and we're going to be able to go and travel through these this doors. He's going to do miraculous things with us, guys. And it's not anything like, it's not going to be anything like what it, the earth is now. It's not going to be anything like this. It's going to be totally different. And um, something else he had me write down, I guess I'll share. He said, we must let our light lead us and direct our paths. And then I kept hearing, step into the light. Okay? He's changing us right now. We can't see it yet. But there will be a time when we everything will be different and we will be totally spirit it's going to be amazing um if you haven't been saved if you haven't reached out to jesus if you haven't made him your lord and savior if you haven't got down on your knees repented your sins say i'm so sorry lord that i did not see you that i did not realize you were trying to waken me up that i did not realize you're trying to call me home you need to do that. You need to get down on your knees and you need to just say, Lord, I'm so sorry. I love you so much. Please pour out your Holy Spirit upon me. Lead me to all truth and wisdom, Father. Please count me worthy to escape all the things coming upon this earth. Forgive me of all my sins. And if you know things that, and you remember things and remember ways that you've been wrong, you need to start pouring them out. Please forgive me for this and this and this and this, Father. I'm so sorry. And he's going to awaken you. He's going to change you from the inside out. And you are going to start putting off an amazing light to all those around you. And that's because he's living inside of you after you say that prayer to him. And I just pray that all you guys are reaching out for Jesus if you haven't already. Um, and I love you all. It's going to be really bad for those that don't want to um, see the truth. It's gonna be really bad. But for those that know the truth, the truth of Jesus Christ, we that know the truth of Jesus Christ, it's going to be amazing, but it, there's also going to be a darkness and a judgment. Make your choice now. Things are black and white, darkness and light. You have to make your choice. You have to be 100% or else that darkness will suck you in. Love you all. God bless.